Well, here's my new mower for 2013 season. She's still in the stock class, but pretty good. So, have a quick look over, overview of it. Um, as you can tell, lots of BMI parts on her. New rims all the way around, seven and a half inch wide by six, wrapped with a 13 by six and a half by six tire in all four corners. For now, all new tie rods, built everything from scratch, axle, and well, spindles also came from BMI cart. Uh, it's just an old Craftsman. Um, clutch setup is j pretty stock underneath. I uh, just changed the belt and I got a 7 inch pulley up front, 2.5 inch pulley in the rear, and the disc brake works perfect on it. Up on the dash, of course, we changed the steering all together. It's all ball bearing inside the uh, front housing and everything. Uh, choke still factory, a headlight switch we have here. Over there, we have the uh, start button. And then, of course, a breakaway kill switch, a loud ass horn. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Usually a loud ass horn. Um, down to the back, more uh, the fancy BMI wheels. Underneath the seat here, I have a two and a half inch pulley, like I said before. Nice, easy access to get to it. And a good uh, brand new belt on there, ready to roll. Just an old six speed peerless transmission. Over here, like I showed before, kill switch, hood latch, the El Ghetto gas pedal. Very easy to set up. Under the hood, um, there's the big ass horn that didn't work for some reason, it always works. Um, uh, fuel tank, and it is a Briggs & Stratton 18 horse uh, opposed twin. And way up in the front and the bottom there is where I put the battery, just to get the weight more spread around. Originally the fuel tank on this was under the seat and the mower was about 9 inches, 10 inches higher overall. Um, but well, she's a lot lower now. And I still got room to lower. I haven't even actually touched the rear diff. It's still in the factory location. Just lowering the seat, the fuel tank, and the fenders and the wheels dropped it that much. So we'll get a test run out of her today and see how she goes. It's still running the factory exhaust as well just because I didn't um, didn't really get to the exhaust yet. No big deal. So there you go, fires up nice, and away we go. There we go, loose wire. So, that's the overview of the new build for 2013. Um, should be pretty good. She's a little wide to front axles. I might lower it, skinny it up a little. It's uh, 45 inches outside to outside of the wheel. I have a full set of skinny wheels and tall wheels for the rear, and they can uh, they keep it within the 42 inches to make her legal, but no big deal if I gotta cut the axle down, not a big job. So anyway, that's what we got running so far for this year. Cheers.